Hi everyone, my name is Kelly Toe. I am a product manager on Watson X Orchestrate, really leading our efforts around pre-built agents for business. So if you attended the track spotlight, you heard Parole talk about the need for pre-built agents that accelerate deployment, right? We've really moved beyond the years of building custom assistance from scratch. Right? You can remember the headaches of defining intents and entities, of building nodes and dialogue trees that can become so complex when you try to account for every use case, right? No one wants to do that anymore. And there's also the need for domain expertise, right? A general agent is not going to cut it when it comes to enterprise level work. A general agent isn't trained on, say, supplier assessment processes in procurement or candidate sourcing in HR. And so this is the vision of our pre-built agents for business that are built on top of Watson X offerings. Right? These agents with their pre-built tools allow you to get started quickly because they're already integrated to the systems that you're using, whether that's Workday or Salesforce, SAP Success Factors, Coupa, right? They're already configured with domain-specific business logic to accelerate that development time. And we're starting with the HR domain, leveraging nearly a decade's worth of our own experience, right? We had IBM as client zero. I like the saying, you know, we've eaten our own dog food or we've drank our own champagne, right? We used Watson X Orchestra to build our internal Ask HR solution. And in doing so, we learned a lot about how HR processes get done, right? Think about the process for requesting or approving time off. It's more than just simple backend transactional calls, right? It involves some validation, you know, does this employee have time off remaining? Are they eligible for maternity leave? It requires working across multiple applications, right? Submitting the request in Workday, maybe sending an email to notify the manager in Outlook. It's a pretty complex orchestration. And all that orchestration, it, it takes years of development, right? We ran an internal study that suggested that our pre-built agent for HR can accelerate that development by 70%. Right. Think about when you traditionally built a, a assistant or an agent, right? Building a single app integration to Workday, to SAP, that took, I don't know, maybe four weeks. Then you need to configure an automation, like how to request time off, right? Doing that API function mapping. That took maybe another week for just one automation. Configuring a RAG solution, right? Connecting to all your documents and policies, doing QA on the responses, tweaking the language model for cleaner results. That took maybe two months. Creating the dialogue flows, that takes additional weeks to months, right? Our pre-built agent removes or reduces the need for all of that development by doing it for you, right? Of course, there's always gonna be some customization needed, that 30%, right? Every enterprise has different processes, different policies, but we get you 70% of the way there. So I wanna show you a quick demo of what this pre-built agent specifically for HR looks like, right? As this is the first domain that we're starting with. Let me just pull up this demo recording. I'll kind of walk you through both the end user experience, what it's like from an employee, as well as what it's like from a builder perspective as the enterprise building the solution. So this is our new AI chat, right? It's powered by an LLM orchestrator agent that really supervises how work gets done across assistance, across applications, skills, and even human agents when necessary. Okay, so it can route across Ask HR, Ask Sales, Ask IT. It can connect to apps like Outlook, Salesforce, Workday, Salesloft, right? Ultimately, it streamlines all these workflows into a single seamless chat experience. So we just had our annual enrollment period at IBM. Let's use that scenario here, right? Employees have questions about how to enroll, what the different plans are available to them. The agent's built-in LLM can help to reason and route to the Ask HR Assistant. Right here, it's returning an answer using conversational search, which is our RAG pattern solution. It's searching through a knowledge base of documents, right? All this unstructured data in IBM's health benefit policies. And you have traceability back to where this answer is coming from. So you can trust the answer. You understand where you're getting it. Beyond FAQs, agents can complete tasks by calling skills or automations, right? Like recommending a health plan. 
the agent knows what inputs it needs in order to give an intelligent and targeted recommendation back, right? It knows it needs my age, it needs my marital status. I did not hard code this conversation flow to collect input one, collect input two. The agent can reason and knows what inputs it needs, right? I'm logged in here. Our demo persona is a 44 year old manager. So it can grab that you know, information from the back end. And this level of personalization goes a long way. With users, you know, they tend to digress or change topics. Here I interrupt and say, wait, what are my health plans actually? The agent can handle that just fine. It walks me through the new topic and then it returns me back to my original train of thought. Skills can take multiple inputs at once. I give my marital status and my number of children, right? This is not your traditional rigid rules-based chatbot. When I make a mistake, I can go back and change my response without breaking the dialogue, right? Actually, no, I went to the doctor five times last year, not four. This is a self-correcting reasoning engine. It can handle those complexities. This decision automation that you're seeing here to recommend a health plan, right? This was custom built in our no code, low code orchestrate platform, which I'll show you in a minute of how simple this was for me to set up. Let's switch personas for a second. I want to demonstrate another high ROI use case. Um, let's think about the process for promoting an employee. Okay, This is one of our pre-built domain skills for initiating an employee promotion and SAP success factors. A business process that would typically take weeks, if not months, to automate. Right? Think about all the validation checks, all the integrations that you need to build. But with our pre-built HR agent, you have access to a catalog of these skills pre-integrated with Workday, Oracle, SAP, with all the API mapping and configuration done for you, right? It's having me confirm who this employee is, what their current position is. Notice how it's gonna pre-fill the job title and the promotion date. It remembered that I said those things previously, it stored that context as session variables, it saves me time as a manager. This flow, it's more prescriptive and deterministic than you've seen in the earlier version of this demo, right? When it was giving that conversational response. And that's because this is a very sensitive topic, right? We're dealing with job titles and salary raises. We don't always want everything to be gen AI. And so enterprises need that level of control over LLMs, right? For those highly sensitive topics, Orchestrate gives you the flexibility to do so. We can actually see that this promotion come through on the SAP side, right? I'm looking at Ravi, my employee's profile. I see that job title and the pay grade change to what I had just submitted in the orchestrate chat, right? So that direct connection to the system, I no longer need to go into SAP now on and, and submit my employee promotions there. I can change use cases completely. Okay, I can jump from a promotion task into a sales process, all from the same interface, right? Um, you know what, what are the top sales plays in Q2? This agent can reason and route across different assistance and use cases, right? It has that inherent reasoning engine that's powering it. So think about for a second how powerful this experience can be for an employee, right? I can ask sales questions. I can complete my health benefit elections. I can order a replacement computer if this one breaks down, right? Those IT topics, all from the same chat interface. So now that you've seen how powerful the end user experience can be, let's look at how we set this up in Orchestrate, how simple it was. So there's three main themes I wanna cover. I want you to remember when building our um, HR agents in Orchestrate. Acceleration is theme one, ease of customization is theme two, and extendable is three. So acceleration, right? Faster time to go live. With an extensive catalog of pre-built skills connected to all these apps that you're already using, right? LinkedIn, Workday, Teams, Slack, right? We make it easy for HR teams to configure and fulfill complex tasks like requesting time off, like employee transfers, even employee promotions, okay? These skills, when I click into one of them, you can see that they go beyond simple integration, right? They orchestrate across multiple applications. They adhere to compliance requirements. They transform data, right? Sometimes you have to do that when the data can get really messy. There's a lot of business logic built into this one skill, right? They're way more than just backend API calls. They're end-to-end -end workflows. And this is where we ran that study that you saw 70% of time saved. We've pre-built all this for you, right? So acceleration. 
Theme two, ease of customization, right? Yes, these skills are pre-built, but let's be honest, every enterprise will require some level of customization. You can configure the skills to meet your specific requirements. Maybe I wanna send an email to the employee congratulating them on their promotion, right? I can add all these other out of the box skills from the catalog. I can add a Gen AI skill to generate email. I can add the Outlook skill to actually send the email. Right? I'm doing this all in no code. So one, the skills are built for me. Two, I can enhance my skill flows with them right from this interface. Right? And when I'm ready, I can add these skills directly to my agent. Simply clicking add to chat and now I can test all that out. Right Now it's an extended flow that sends an email um, and also generates the email content. Right, and you'll see that come through. So acceleration is theme one, right? We get you um, to deployment faster. Being able to customize it easily in our no-code interfaces too. And three is extendable, right? You can do more with your HR agent with access to all these underlying features. You can connect to other applications, right? You can pull in all the automations you already have in UiPath or IBM RPA, right? We have native connectors. You can import open API specs here. Any open API spec, you can simply drag and drop in here. And now we can bring in that automation. You can also custom build automations from scratch, be that workflows, be that decisions. Let's for a second look at the decision automation that I built to recommend a health plan. Right, remember it recommended for me the HML plan. Somewhere in our HR policies, there's an Excel document that maybe maps um, employee profiles to recommended plans, right? Based on age, based on marital status, number of children, you know, what's a good recommendation. I uploaded that Excel document into Orchestrate and now the agent can automate that decision-making for me. This is where it's pulling that HMO recommendation from given all the user inputs. I can also set up Gen AI for a RAG or conversational search is what we call it, right? We have a native integration with Elasticsearch. So there's nothing you need to custom build here, right? I can connect to all my documents, all my health policies. I can simply upload them here. I can plug into my database where all those policies are stored. I can configure the settings, right? Do I want the response to be more verbose or more concise? Do I wanna have a higher confidence threshold or lower? For those sensitive topics, I want my agent to be really, really confident before it returns a Gen AI answer, right? This further emphasizes the flexibility, the control that we give to enterprises in terms of how LLMs are actually used, okay? So again, with the pre-built accelerators, with the ease of customization through our no-code, low-code interface, and with access to the full Orchestrate platform to be able to do more and extend your agent, you can create a really powerful HR agent solution here. Okay, so let me pause this demo and kind of go back to what I was showing previously. As I mentioned, right, we built this as IBM with Client Zero. Look at the success metrics on this slide, right? Being able to handle 94% of inquiries that were previously going to our HR support team. 55 score improvement in our NPS from employees, right? All the success that we saw, we took all these HR automations and conversation flows that we spent years developing and we turned them into that reusable catalog of skills that you saw on the screen, right? For other HR arms to use. So from a product perspective, the idea is that we can provide you with a catalog of these pre-built skills, right? They're already connected and integrated with your tech stack and then giving you access to the underlying orchestrate platform to customize and extend, right? We understand that you are gonna have specific requirements compared to your neighbor, right? No process is the same. So maybe you have a custom built database where you store all your employee addresses. Maybe you've got custom automations that you've built in UiPath, right? You wanna connect to those. You can configure all of that in our intuitive platform. So thinking back to that bar chart, right? We get you 70% of the way there. With access to the underlying platform, you can do uh, the other 30%. You can customize, you can extend, and really create a really powerful agent here. So we are still developing what this HR agent looks like, right? The long-term vision is a, a native HR agent that you can deploy 
anywhere you want, right? Your internal site and Slack and Workday, wherever you so choose. Today, what we have to offer is a collection of those pre-built skills and auto, you know, automations is what we call skills uh, for SAP success factors, for Oracle HCM, and for Workday. Okay, it's across the three HR use cases of um, employee support, right? I want to update my profile. I want to transfer this employee to a new manager. You know, it's from all the personas of an employee, the HR department, and a manager. Uh, performance management, right? Creating your goals at the start of the year, launching the appraisal forms um, at the end of the year, or maybe at the midway checkpoint. And then talent acquisition as well, starting with demand and sourcing, right? Creating job requisitions, finding passive or active candidates. So I invite you to come and join our preview program. Get started using these HR skills connected to Workday, SAP, Oracle. We are actually, we have a few customers right now in our preview program. And it was as simple as taking the skills that we've pre-built um, connecting it to their workday environment by just giving their server URL, authenticating, and then actually they were able to see that they could request time off themselves, see it come through on their workday backend, right? All from a chat interface. They even went as far as going into the Orchestrate platform and customizing um, specifically maybe what that web chat looks like. Maybe they wanted to add an additional validation step into the process. And so we, again, we want you to come and test out these pre-built skills. Tell us, do these follow your processes? Are you having trouble connecting to the workday environment? Or we want to work with you together on this so we can really build the best HR agent together. I will pause here. I'm going to take a look at the um, questions in chat if there are any. Um, again, as I mentioned, we're in private preview right now of this HR agent. If you are looking to get started using these skills, scan this QR code, right? We'll have our sales reps reach out to you. We can work together to build a POC or a pilot um, for your specific HR use case, right? The requirements, as I've sort of mentioned, are that you be either working with Workday, Oracle, or SAP. Those are the three applications that we support currently. Um, or in the use case is either an employee support or what we call Ask HR, talent acquisition, or performance management. If there's any questions, I welcome them into the chat. Um, I'll just give it a few moments to see if there's any. I can also go back to the demo if there were any questions about some of the functionality you saw within that. No? Okay. Well, you've got the QR code on this slide. Um, again, we'll be in private preview probably until mid-March. Um, and during this private preview time, you really get access to a lot of those beta, closed beta capabilities. I'm very exciting. So thank you so much for your time today. Um, I'll also just add that HR is the first domain that we're starting with, right? Going back though, next you'll see pre-built agents for sales, for procurement, for customer care. There's a repeatable use case amongst those all that we want to offer to you to get you started really quickly, right? HR is where we're starting. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great day.